What's up, everybody? I am Mitchellette. This is Immaculate Life, and I want to welcome you all to my channel. Welcome, Bulika. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a video about how to choose the right salon for you. And this video is for those that are struggling when they get out of cosmetology school and have no idea where to start. I'm going to be giving you some tips and ways to find that salon that is right for you. But first, before we get started, I would love for you all to subscribe to my channel and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I do upload on Mondays, but you know we are in quarantine, so you may see a few more videos from me. So I would like to start with a quick story while I was getting out of cosmetology school and I knew that I needed somewhere to go. So my crazy self, not even, I, I, I did at the exact opposite. Instead of going into the salon, I decided to go into a suite on my own, which didn't work out. So what actually was going on, it was, I was breaking even. So I was able to pay my suite rent, but I wasn't able to take care of myself and my bills and stuff like that. I struggled with that. So I had to let that go. And then I went into um the mall because it was hiring there was a salon inside the mall and i decided to take a chance and go so what happened with that was it didn't work out for me either because i wasn't getting paid i didn't get my money so you know i got to have my coin have my coins so my coins wasn't right so i had to let that go and so what i did was i went inside there i took my license off the wall and i walked out i started doing some research and i'm still fresh and new and I had to do some research, so I found a salon, but the reason why I was lucky is because the young lady, um, the owner's manager, she was doing the hiring process. So she hired me, and she knew my aunt, and she knew me, and I had no idea. So I went in, and she did an interview. I stayed at that salon for two years. I really did enjoy it, but it was time for me to get out on my own after two years. That's why I feel like I can talk to you guys about it and, and help you along the way because some people, they really don't know where to start when they get out of cosmetology school. Some got it, they know exactly what they're gonna do, but that's why I'm here. So I'm gonna give you five tips on ways and how to look for that salon that's right for you. So the first tip is do Search. You have to do your research. And what I mean by research is reviews and calling. So when, let's talk about reviews real quick. So when you look in, you want to be able to review the salon, meaning go to their website and see what the, see what the clients are saying. Find out what the clients are talking about, what they are saying about the salon, what they are saying about the stylists, if they're happy there, if they like it, because the goal is to be in a positive environment you don't want to put yourself in a situation and you're not happy so you want to be happy trust me you want to be in a great environment you can also do a review on the booking site so i'm talking about like places like schedulicity acuity scheduling booksy sometimes if you go to those places you can look at the reviews and you can see exactly what the clients are saying about this particular salon. The next thing you want to do is you want to call the salon. Ask them what are they looking for. You don't want to waste your time and you don't want to waste the owner's time. And the reason is because the owner may be looking for somebody that does box braids. And suppose you do sewings. It's a waste of your time. You want to go somewhere when you know that you are needed and that you're going to benefit. When you call, you want to make sure that they're looking for someone like you. You want to ask what are they looking for, those type things. So make sure you pay attention to that because don't waste your time. Okay, so tip number two. So you go into the salon and this is your first time working in the salon. So most likely you are going to get the walkies. Because I remember when I first started working in the salon, the owner gave me all the walk-ins because I was a commission stylist. So she wanted me to build my clientele. With that being said, you may be doing the walk-ins. So that means you need to pay attention to the location. Location, location, location is everything. And I'm going to tell you why. The reason why location is everything is because you are trying to build a clientele. So you want to make sure that that salon is in a great location and that you know 
you're going to do well and that you know that you want to grab those clients. So that is extremely, extremely important. You do not want to work in a salon that's off somewhere and doesn't have a lot of traffic. So you want to be somewhere where there's nothing but traffic. You want to be able to um, grab as many clients because you're trying to build, you're trying to build. So you want as many clients as you can. So that should be um, your number, that should be like, that's like numbers, that's close to doing the research. You know, you want to make sure that you pay attention to that location because it's extremely, extremely important. Make sure that you pay attention to that location. Now, let's go into number three, y'all. Okay, so number three, let's say you got that interview. And that owner says, come on in, I want to interview you. When you go to that interview, listen now. You want to go dressed to impress. Everything should look good. Your hair should be fly. Your clothes should be fly. Everything about you. Because, you know, we hairstylists. You know, we got a little extra something about us. So you want to make sure that you got a little sassiness about you and a little, you know, a little cuteness about you. You want to, you want to, I don't care if that owner got on a tank top and sneakers. Walk up in that spot and you shut that thing down. So now... This is where you want to, this is where you kind of want to, you know, pay attention to your surroundings. So when you walk into that salon, is it clean? Did the people speak to you? Did they smile at you? Like, pay attention to your surroundings. You know, is it, is it packed in there? Is it booked? Do they have a lot of um, clientele? Pay attention to that. That type of stuff is going to determine if that's where you want to be. Do you sense, cause, okay, real, real quick. When I did my, when I went and did my interview, I really was very observant, but they didn't know it. Because the one thing that stood out to me, it didn't matter what they wore. The one thing that stood out to me was the positive, the, the energy. I can sense energy. So the positive energy was everything to me. So these type of things, you want to pay attention to that because I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to work in an environment that's negative, that has negative energy or have people looking at you like, mm, who's this? You don't want, if you sense that, it's not for you. It's got to be right for you because you have to be happy wherever you are. So my tip number three is to pay attention to your surroundings. The surroundings are important. Like I said, make sure you shut that thing down. Make sure you look good. Show them that you want to be there. And also, although social media, you know, you can have your thing on social media, take a portfolio anyway. Okay, so now your interview is over with and she says, do you have any questions? Ask questions. My tip number four is ask questions. And for instance, the type of questions you should be asking is, do you train your stylist? Do you do the marketing and promoting? Or do I need to do the marketing and promoting? Do you need for me to bring my own tools? What type of tools do you supply? Is it okay for me to bring my products in? These are questions that you should be asking. This is your career. How bad do you want it? If your commission, she's going to make sure that you get all the things that you need. She's going to promote. But you can't expect the owner to do all that promoting for you. So it's very important that you ask the questions. Look, if you love the answers to all the questions, you in me. When you ask questions like, oh, do you provide the tools? And she say, yes, we actually provide this, the flat irons, but you have to bring your own shears. You have to bring your combs, your brushes. Then that's good. If you ask, do you promote for me? She's good. The Most likely the owner is going to do the promoting, but you, or she's also going to tell you you have to promote for yourself as well. So you also have to build your clientele and get your clientele. But this is something that is really, really important. Don't walk out of that, out of that salon all flying cute and ask not one question. Ask the question. Ask the question. It's like you're being interviewed. They're being interviewed as well, but they don't know it. That's just how the process is. Not only does the person interviewing you have to be happy, but you have to be happy too. But your goal is to interview them without them even knowing it by asking questions. So we're about to go to tip number five. The first tip was to do your research. The second tip was to pay attention to location. The third tip was 
Pay attention to your surroundings. And then the fourth tip was ask questions. But y'all, my final tip, my final, final tip is to have fun looking for the salon. Enjoy doing it. This is your career. You try to stay positive. Give yourself positive energy. I mean, talk to people about it. Network. Ask around. You never know. But the main thing is to smile and have fun. I guarantee you. Listen, the salon industry is a billion dollar industry. There's so many things that you can do within this industry. That's why I'm telling you. Enjoy it. And don't be afraid to ask questions. I would like to thank each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel. I really do appreciate it. If you got all the way through to the end of this video, I definitely appreciate you. Please continue to watch my videos. I like to have fun with some of my videos. But this just came to my mind and I wanted to make sure because I remember having these type of questions. So that's the reason why I decided to do this video. And I hope that you all really enjoyed it. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. And don't forget, like I said, to subscribe. If you want me to do a video or anything in particular when it comes to hair, just let me know. Most of the time, what I do is I do like natural hair braids and stuff like that. But if you, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. I'll be glad to answer them. And again, I thank you and please enjoy the rest of your evening, day, whenever you are watching this video and please be safe. Take care of yourself, your loved ones and stay home if you can.